Hey guys, Vizerlo here. So the countdown to Smash Ultimate is almost over, and within the next few days, Smash Ultimate will officially release, and that's something that kind of feels really unreal. Like, it doesn't, like, when it comes to games like Pokemon Let's Go and, like, other games like Super Mario Party, obviously those are a lot smaller than Smash, but they're still, like, major games that hit the Switch this year, but... I was like kind of anticipating them, but Smash Ultimate is something that still doesn't feel like real to me. Now I wouldn't really consider myself a Smash fan, I guess. I mean I like the games, I played quite a bit of Smash 4 and I have had my experience in Melee, but that's really it. I haven't played any other entries and I feel like considering what I played, I am not incredibly into, this, into the series really. I mean I play... Like, when I did play Smash, like, games on my Wii U and when I used to play on GameCube, like, that was really just when I was just playing casually. I was never, like, really into it. And I feel like it's going to be the exact same for Smash Ultimate. I'm probably going to play it quite a bit. But I, I feel like, being honest, is probably going to be the, the most hours I've ever put into a fighting game. But still, I don't think that's... Smash Ultimate is going to change my mind about how I feel about the series. I still think I'm going to feel like I like it a lot, but I don't know if it's going to make me a diehard fan. Now, it very well could because this is definitely like a very major release in the Smash series, and every Smash game has already been like system sellers, but this is like the next level. So, this is something completely different, and I have no idea how I'm going to feel at the end of this, but. My prediction is that I don't know if it'll change anything, it probably will though. Just considering the amount of content this game holds, like, we got World of Light, we got... I don't even want to count how many characters there is, I believe there was like, what, 72 last time I checked? And I cannot tell you how much I'm gonna enjoy playing this at like, say a party or just like, if someone's over my house and we can just play like an hour and a half or maybe just play like the entire night away, just playing Smash. and. Considering, like, the World of Light game mode 2, that's, like, beyond all, like, the memes people are making of it, that's, like, a whole different, like, a whole different game entirely. Like, that's basically the other incredibly needed part of Smash that I feel like a lot of people are have just been waiting for. And for me, I, I don't know how to feel, being honest, because World of Light looks really interesting, but... I don't know if it's the type of like adventure game that I would be entirely into, but I can bet you that I'm probably going to play a lot of it and just be able to basically provide my entire thoughts on it, and I may actually make an entire video talking about how good World of Light really is. If you subscribe to my channel, like, hoping that I would be really into Smash Ultimate, I'm really sorry, and I would recommend a channel called Smashcast um, to you. He's like... He's basically what you'd want for Smash. As for me, I'm more broad, I cover a lot more, but, like, Smash is a series that I still like a lot, but he's, like, he's where you want to go. He didn't ask me to say that, I'm being honest, you should really go check out his content, because, like, when it comes to Smash, he's where you want to be. But anyway, getting back on track, so... When it comes to the actual channel, when Smash comes out, I'm probably going to be playing that quite a bit. And I do have some other games that recently uh, have been getting some changes too. So I may be playing those with some friends. But basically, December is like complete crunch time for me. It's just basically going through as much as I can while still trying to make videos. Because right now, I have a good amount of online games to play. And Smash Ultimate is just going to destroy my schedule. But even if I, even if I like find the game to be like pretty good like I don't play like a whole lot it's still probably gonna put a big dent in my like in my entire schedule and if you saw my new community tab which you should really go check out you probably saw that I made a post yesterday talking about how on December 19th I'm literally going on vacation so I I'm not gonna be able to play Smash Ultimate that much so that just narrows the time to be able to play it this month but still I'm just, just gonna be like be playing as much as I can before I go and I might even want to just play it on the plane just for why not just because I can I can let you know it's probably gonna destroy the switch's battery I still haven't entirely decided if I'm gonna like live stream it because especially now that Nintendo's changed or I haven't I haven't really entirely decided if I'm gonna live stream it or recording a gameplay of it maybe for the background of some videos but like me and my friends have like this 
sort of like let's play ish channel that we just make content that we enjoy on we started recently i'm not gonna link it on the zillow productions because it just does not it like the type of humor that they have and the type of humor that i don't there's no humor to Vizzerlo productions so combining that with this channel would just kind of like not mix at all so i'm not going to be really be linking that at least for the near future but i'm probably going to be streaming or maybe recording that over there and i might stream it i might stream it over here i don't know i don't know if i'm going to do like a launch thing but being honest i'm probably just going to like just be playing it all of december 7th through like december 19th if i can but what do you think of smash ultimate i know that's probably an extremely broad question but let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video make sure to share it on social medias and as always see you